Hello, my name is Will Troughton. I'm fortunate enough to be Curator of Photography here at the National Library of Wales in Aberystwyth. And I'd like to talk today about some of the collections we have which reflect local areas in Wales. I've selected a few different photographers. We have P.B. Avery, who had a studio in Bilf Wells and also photographed in Llandrindod. We had D.C. Harris, who had operated mainly out of Llandailo. He covered the Llandailo area and for quite a while had a studio in Ammonford. I'd like to also mention Pickford's in Aberystwyth. This is a business founded in, in 1918. Um, it went through until 1972 and like many of these businesses it operated a studio uh, alongside other work. I'd also like to mention William Harwood who is from Crickeath and Guy Hughes who is from Pulteli. Um, I'll start here with P.B. Avery, the gentleman you can see here with a hat and a moustache. He arrived in Bilth Wells in the, the late 1890s established a photographic business, again, mainly a studio, but he also look, took a lot of topographical material. Before he passed away in, in 1948, he selected approximately 1,500 of his negatives, which he thought to be particularly relevant and which he donated very kindly to the National Library of Wales. These have since been printed out and are available to view. Here we have DC Harris. You can see him with his three sons and a variety of cameras. He operated a studio in Llandelo for a while, a studio in, in Ammonford. Again, we're very fortunate. We have, we have literally about two tons of his glass negatives, which were passed to us by his widow. Very many are anonymous portraits, as with many studio photographers, but they do include a lot of topographical material. Uh, you can see here Robert's um, garage in, in Llandelo. A particular favourite of mine is this one of Ernesto and Lupi's ice cream van. Uh, there's another one here, a Sharabank tr trip, uh, and a family of travellers camping in the Llandelo area. Amongst the portraits, we're also very fortunate that there are about a thousand military portraits. These are mainly of First World War soldiers, sadly anonymous, there were no names recorded with them, but also a number from the Second World War as well. These included British, American and Free French forces. Many of those from the Second World War have got the, the surname of the individual inscribed in the corner of the negative. Very useful to us. William Harwood was very much in the mould of P.B. Avery and D.C. Harris. He operated in Crickieth and again he had a, a studio which is probably the, the main source of his income but took a large variety of photographs of the local area as you can see in this volume here created from his glass negatives. You can see various street scenes in Crickieth and occasional events, uh, the snowstorms come into it, uh, hotels and so forth. Again, material very much local to the Crickieth area and similar to the kind of work that DC Harris and PB Avery were doing. We also have similar work that's recently arrived in the, in the library from a photographer called Guy Hughes, who is again based in North Wales, this time in Pateli. Again, much of his work it was studio based, there are very many portraits, though in this instance they were all numbered and we have the day books from the studio so we can record at the very least the person who had made the appointment. This is very useful and this is an ongoing project. We're very fortunate that many of these collections have now been digitised, they're available on our website. Even if you don't see anything local to your area here, I'm sure we've got something for you. Thank you.